delt, or rear delt, front delt, this is tricep right here. <laughs> Two weeks ago, we adopted a Greyhound. He is a retired racing dog. He just retired last month. The process is that you have to wait about two weeks to pick up the dog, so it's been killing me and Sam waiting this long to pick up this animal. Uh, so this is my first dog, I'm excited. Uh, for my old subscribers, you guys might know that I've, uh, you might see, recognize a Basset Hound in a lot of my videos. That's my parent's dog. His name is Bojo. And, uh, I grew up with that dog in their house in my 20s. And, uh, well, I moved out of my parents' house and, you know, a different town now, so I've been dogless for a little while. I hate this fucking traffic light. It's funny, one of my fans or friends now uh, just messaged me, sent me an email, and he had a greyhound as his avatar. And I was like, is that a greyhound? He was like, yeah, and we just started talking about him. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I got interested in the dog is in this type of breed is because uh, one of you guys happened to reach out to me for something unrelated to that. And it was just kind of cool how that fell together. So uh, thank you guys for always reaching out to me and stuff. Sometimes things work out in strange ways. It's pretty cool when you adopt a retired racing greyhound. Um, you already know their personality. They're not a puppy. You don't know what a puppy is until it grows up. I mean, of course you have some sort of influence on what the dog is going to become, but when you adopt an older dog, you already know if they're gonna be compatible with you or not. I think I needed a dog. Um, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty routine, I'm, I'm disciplined, but I'm not perfect and I feel like having a dog is going to give me something that's outside of myself that's going to force me into a routine that's look I wake up at seven o'clock or six o'clock or whatever time I want to wake up every day to start working on stuff if there's an animal waiting for me to go for a walk in the morning every morning to start things then that's someone else depending on me to get up I had that with a job. I recently quit my job. Now that I don't have that anymore, I'm actually finding it fairly difficult to rationalize getting up at the same time every day. Sometimes it's just like, why? I can just get my work done later in the day if I sleep in and get my sleep. But it doesn't always work out well if you do that. So I'm thinking getting this animal is going to put more routine in a very good way in my life and I don't know I get lonely you know even though you're married you're not there all the time and <laughs> and sometimes you're too much <laughs> fuck you know sometimes I just I want I want a fucking animal yeah so the primary reason you want this animal dog love. It's companionship, yeah. It's just like anyone else who gets a dog. You just want a buddy. So Scotty's lived a pretty monastic life. Yeah. Essentially. He wakes up, he eats, he runs, he goes and races, cools down, eats, walks around, yeah. goes to sleep. So he is retired. So are you just, what's your plan for his retirement? Essentially that's what we're 
sort of. He's retiring from racing, and he's going to start <laughs> being Juju Mufu's sidekick. <laughs> he's in for some weird shit, that's for sure. <laughs> I can't wait to see how <laughs> it looks like a good place to trick. That big ass field. Yeah, <laughs> Just look at that one over there, that's even better. It's like I think yeah, it's, well, that's a, the, it's a driving that's range, a yeah. yeah it's something that trickster never outgrows is just looking at big open fields and going, oh, I think that looks like a good place to trick. Turn. Yeah, I'm like yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm fucking excited. excited. <gasps> you ready to go home? <gasps> yeah! What do you see? <laughs> First time you've ever done this, Granny? Yeah! Alright! <gasps> yeah! Fast. All right, home, buddy. Yeah. Oh, wow. I've never seen a dog lay down in the tub. <laughs> oh yeah, doggy boy. You really like the couch slides, huh? You big lazy long dog, you. This is pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. Someone doesn't skip leg day. Look how big his fucking hamstring is. The biggest fucking leg. All right, so this is my first workout with this dog. I work out in the dining room apartment gym. So in a minute, I'm gonna be over there. And right now he's here, but I don't know how he's going to react to the clanging of weights, so we will see how this dude does. Yep, he does not care. Still there. I don't think he cares. I don't think he cares. Scotty? Scotty? You want to work in? You want to get a set? 
a sweet animal. Mm. This is definitely a good thing. Because this means that he's not going to disturb my productivity, my work, my workouts. I need to see if he can go to like a field with me or something because it trick a lot. Let me see if I can take him out there and stake him. That's going to be a hard test. <sighs> okay, so this part of the experiment, I bring this dude out here and I tether him to a weight. Now I'm going to work out. I'm going to start with some stretches because look, I train outside all the time. And I'm going to try to see if I can hook up a slack line as well. I'll give him some water, but I want to see if this dog can just sort of chill with me while I'm out and about doing my thing outside, doing my outdoor workouts that I do. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making this shit up. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna leave my stuff here. Great, he just knocked over his ball. Good job. So my wife just came here and she is taking him away for a quick walk around this little campus we have here. The whole purpose of that is, um, I don't know, I don't know much about dog training, but I know a lot about human training, and the thing is that spaced practice is much better than mass practice, so if I could tether this dog, bring him back after a short walk, tether him again, and just kind of like short, you know, little quick things, he might kind of get used to be like, hey, this is normal. Fastest dog in the world and the slowest dog in the world. <laughs> 